Hi everyone, this is Bev from the Make Your Own Zone. And this is going to be a quick little video about my dishcloths that are the no holes version. I've got just a little bit of one started here. What makes the no holes along the edges is that we are going to do what I call a reverse yarn over. And that gives you an increase without um, the hole along the edge. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like here. Um, for my dishcloths, I knit two along the edge, then do the reverse yarn over. So normally when we do a yarn over, we go from the back to the front like this. But we're going to go from the front to the back. We're going to do it like a reverse. And then we're going to knit across the row. And then I wanted to show you what this looks like when you come along to it at the end of your row from the one you did on the previous row. So here it is. It looks a little bit strange, not like a stitch. I sometimes twist it forward a little bit so I can see it more like a stitch. And then you knit that and finish up your row. So let's do that one more time. I knit the two stitches along the edge. Do the reverse yarn over, wrapping it from the front to the back. Knit across the rest of the row. And then when you get to it at the end of this row, it might look kind of strange like this. Just twist it forward a little bit so you can see it more like a stitch. Get your needle in there, knit it, and finish up the row. Okay, now one more thing I'm going to show you is how to do the short rows. And this is if you want to make a little more defined corners. So of course, you know, we're not at the place where we would normally do it. This is just a little sample swatch. But to do that, I knit three. And then you turn your work. That's why you call it a short row. You turn it around. And then you knit those same stitches again. So it's another knit three. And then you turn it again. So you're starting your row just like it's new again. And then you're going to knit across the row. And then when you get to the last three stitches of the row, it's going to be the version of the short row at that end. So you're going to finish up the row. Here's your little yarn over again from the reverse yarn over on the previous row. And as you can see, it's not always easy to, to knit those up real quickly. So you get to the end of your row, you're going to turn. And then you're going to knit, knit three again. And then you're going to turn it back again and finish knitting those three stitches again this way. And that is how you would complete your short row. So those are the two parts of the pattern that I thought you might want to have a little visual demonstration of how to do the yarn overs, how those yarn overs look at the end of the row when you come along to them, and how you do the turning for the short rows if you want to make some more defined corners. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.